Hey there, fight friends. Andy Cotter with MMA.ca here with the best welterweight, Bobby Poulter. Bobby Poulter uh, fighting Unified MMA 51 uh, in Niagara Falls on June 23rd. Bobby, thanks for speaking with us. Of course, of course. So tell the fight fans watching who you're fighting and what you think this fight's going to bring to you. Somebody fighting uh, Josh Jackson at Unified on June 23rd. And uh, expect fireworks. Now, he had been offered to you as an opponent before, but it, I guess this time it's happening. What do you know about him? Um, I know that he doesn't have any prior background in wrestling, no prior striking. Uh, he's kind of like me where he just went straight into MMA. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see both of us with an athletic background but nothing in combat come together and see who put, the, put it all together better. Yeah. Now, what I took from what you just said, the main thing is you said he doesn't have a wrestling background. Now, I just finished watching Niagara Top Team Monday wrestling practice where y you're, everybody gets smashed. It doesn't matter who you are, you get smashed. Like, you're a f phenomenal, outstanding fighter, but you get smashed on occasion. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. Do you think that you have too much for him? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's the difference between training at a mecha gym like Niagara and being able to cross-train from Aegis MMA um, versus being at a small gym. Uh, I know he's from Maryland, so I know he's going to come from a smaller gym. I'm sure he's still going to be well-prepared, mm -hmm. but it's just it's tough to match the, pr the pressure and the pace that I face every single day against Olympic-level wrestlers, against number five-ranked Bellator fighter Aaron Jeffrey and, you know, uh, Anthony Romero fighting for PFL. Like, there's too many good guys that I can list yeah. that I'm training with every day. And they're bringing the pressure, and I'm able to match it, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna get hurt, or I'm not gonna be able to compete. So that's what I'm here every day for. And that's reflected in the rest of your life as well. Like you have been a very active fighter over the past couple of years. You either it seems to me like you're always preparing for a fight, or you're fighting, or you're preparing for the next fight. Is that is that something you can sustain for indefinitely, or I guess you have a goal and you're just aiming for it? Yeah, man. Like regardless if I fight or not, I'm always training. I actually haven't fought in almost a year. Um, fights have been falling through. I've been having bad luck, but this is a lifestyle. This is not just a sport to me. This is something that I do every day, all day, and my entire day is focused around it. Do you think it's important for somebody who, who has aspirations of greatness in the sport to be able to put that much time and effort and basically make their whole life revolve around it? That's the only way to do it. That's literally the only way you can do it. There's too many guys out there that have been training since they're, you know, seven, eight years old in some sort of combat sports. I came in at 18, with no experience, no prior combat sports, and I, I have to devote every single hour to either training or to preparing for training or, or my mental recovery or anything that I can, I can get in, I'm trying to force it so that I can be the best fighter I can. Now, you're one of those fighters who is uh, making the best of this kind of unique situation in southwest Ontario where all these gyms are working together, Aegis MMA, Niagara Top Team. You guys are all trying to elevate the sport and elevate your fighters, and you're all sharing game plans and working together. Does that make a big difference in your, in your mental mindset, knowing that you have that big support system? Huge. Huge. Because at the end of the day, if you can't be confident in yourself, you'd be confident in your system. And our system is surrounded with killers. So if you can survive in these gyms, you can survive in a fight with almost anybody. Where do you live? Where's your house? I live in Hamilton. Nice. So I've seen you fight at BTC before, which is in Burlington. I've seen you fight there. Niagara Falls. So sometimes when I talk to the guys here at Niagara Top Team and, you know, I talk about fighting in their backyard. But I guess this is kind of like a, a little bit of home away from home for you. Oh, of course, man. I've been, uh, since Niagara has opened the Red Dungeon during COVID, that was uh, when I started coming down here. But even before that, during Parabellum days, uh, Chris Prickett was running a wrestling practice down there. And that's where I kind of got to know all the NTT guys. And then uh, it slowly grew and grew and grew. And I just kept training and everyone's on their way up. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful atmosphere. That's great to hear. Well, unfortunately, I won't be at Unified, but I'm going to wish you the best of luck and hope you have a great fight. And before we go, is there anybody you'd like to thank? I just like to thank all my coaches, you know, uh, Lyndon Whitlock, Chris Prickett, Paul Jalbert, um, a lot of my training partners, Aaron Jeffrey, Mike Malott, so many to, to mention, but uh, we're just going to get it done and it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be amazing. Well, thanks, Bobby. We wish you the best of luck. Of course. Thank you so much. There you go, fight friends. Bobby Poulter fighting at Unified MMA 51, June 23rd, Niagara Falls Convention Center. You can either be there yourself or you can watch it in UFC Fight Pass.